How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some terrifying paranormal investigations that may show real proof. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. This first video is from the YouTube channel Cater's Clips. Set in the East Midlands of England, it's only fitting that a hunt for ghosts in the homeland of William Shakespeare would bring us to what might just be the most haunted theatre in all of England. The footage was shot when Tim Matthews and the South Yorkshire Ghost Hunters visited the Old Nick Theatre in Gainsborough, Lincolnshire in an attempt to confirm sightings of paranormal activity. On the left side of the screen, you can see what looks like a piece of paper glide across the stage before picking up speed as though being transported by an invisible hand. If you slow the footage down, there is indeed a piece of paper that strangely glides across the stage. While some have speculated that the object could be an actor's script, to this day it's not actually been identified. Nobody in attendance noticed or retrieved the paper. It wasn't until the footage was reviewed later that its mysterious movement was spotted. The Old Nick Theatre has a long history, and it's thought to be haunted by the souls of those who likely made their last curtain calls at the site. It started as a former police station and magistrate's court. Now, people attending shows or passing by the theatre often report seeing apparitions of policemen and convicts wandering around. In fact, the theatre is so notorious for hosting paranormal activity that it was even featured in an episode of Most Haunted that aired in 2015. Today, the theatre is a hotspot for supernatural investigations due to the fact that more than 25 deaths have been documented on the premises. Keen to check out a show? You might just see something more than you bargained for. This next bit of footage offers an interesting insight into what a spontaneous ghostly interruption might look like. Uploaded to the YouTube channel Ghosted UK, the video shows a group of people gathered inside what appears to be some type of small shop. Unfortunately, the person who shared this interesting piece of ghost footage doesn't provide much context. We don't know much about where or why this video was recorded. However, the date stamp on the video does reveal it was captured on the 23rd of September 2019. Luckily, what happens on camera pretty much explains itself. The footage is grainy and raw. However, the stunned and unnerved reactions of those in attendance can clearly be seen. A noisy disruption that's coming from the front corner of the shop grabs everyone's attention. It's only a few seconds later that we see and hear what appears to be someone or something knocking objects down from the wall. Just touching your knees, Andrew, for some reason. This simple and brief recording appears to show that some ghosts might not be shy at all. What do you think was responsible for this bizarre disturbance? Was it really something supernatural? Or could there be another explanation for this mysterious video? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. This next video has critics divided over whether or not it actually shows evidence of paranormal activity. In it, Matt Benton of Devil's Hour Productions walks viewers through his very spooky encounter that took place in April of 2017 at the infamous Higginsport School in Ohio. Built in 1881, the school now stands as an abandoned beacon for ghost seekers, attracting paranormal enthusiasts from all over the country who dare to attempt to capture a ghost on camera. Benton claims to have spent 12 hours at the school in full isolation inside the building. His plan was to capture his footage without interruptions or interference from crew members. At a little over halfway through the video, it seems that a ghost may have decided to make its presence known. Matt was able to capture footage of a door shutting for no apparent reason. Leaf is not moving. The leaf is not moving. Okay, now it is. 
It's easy to anticipate what everyone's first thought might be after watching the door close. Could it simply have been wind that forced it shut? Certainly a valid theory. In fact, it's so valid that Matt Benton himself tried to debunk his own footage. Sometime later, he returned to the scene with his crew and attempted to use a high-powered leaf blower to close the door. So did it work? The footage seems to prove that it didn't. It's also worth noting that in the original footage, nothing else appears to be affected by the wind, which seems to indicate that there was no breeze blowing on the day he recorded his clip. Not moving. The leaf is not moving. So what do you think? Was the door's movement really the result of some supernatural interaction? Or is there another, more simple explanation? Okay, now it is. This next clip comes from the YouTube channel Ghosty Boys. It appears that during one of their paranormal investigations, they might have captured an apparition on film at Mission San Juan Capistrano in San Antonio, Texas. Known as a popular location for ghost sightings, it seems that on this occasion it certainly didn't disappoint. At one point in the footage, a white mass can be seen moving across the screen before reaching towards one of the paranormal investigators. Notably, the shape materializes while the investigator is attempting to capture an EVP. The image that is captured on film shows up immediately, after the investigator asks if any present spirit could state their name. If anyone's here, could you please state your name? We then see a large, translucent shape swirl into view. It seems to brush right up against the investigator before darting out of sight. The mission where this chilling video was captured hides a tragic history. In 1812, more than 40 Native Americans died in an earthquake while attending mass on the premises. And that's not where the spooky history ends either. The landmark's well-known El Adobe de Capistrano restaurant is the former town court and jail. In fact, the spot where the inmates were kept in jail is now the restaurant's wine cellar. Each year on Halloween, ghost lovers flock to the spot in the hopes of catching a glimpse of the spirits of yesteryear. Would you be game enough to pay a visit to the Mission San Juan Capistrano? Ghost whisperer Tony Ferguson shares a spooky encounter that he caught on film during one of his scary paranormal investigations. Tony was contacted by a few Southampton locals, saying that they had seen a mysterious black mass of some kind lurking in the cemetery. The area has a track that leads to the shoreline and is popular with dog walkers. The witnesses asked if Tony could investigate the area to make sure it's safe. In the video, we see Tony searching the graveyard. After a while, you can see what looks like a large cloud-like light come into view, then disappear from sight in the bottom corner of the screen. While the shape doesn't have a clear bodily form, it certainly conjures up images of the classic phantom, transparent and ethereal in its movements. As you might recall, a few weeks ago, we featured another interesting piece of footage captured by Tony in the notorious Bodmin Jail. It shows what looks to be an eerie hooded figure walking down the end of the hallway. Shortly after, Tony got in contact with us and wanted to give a bit more insight into what happened that day. So, we were at Bob and Joe in the basement and in the time we were there, the lights actually went off in the basement and the two floors above stayed on, which was even peculiar because the actual two floors above were the same circuit with the basement, so Bob and Joe couldn't understand why that went off and the rest of them didn't. Uh, we've actually placed the camera, static camera down on the, on the shelf while trying to debunk this and as we have, you will see an apparition that just walks past. Now Bob and Joe actually look to their, their camera CCTV because they get a lot of paranormal claims and they can actually verify that there was no living person down there with us at that particular time. 
So that makes the actual capture extra special. So Bodmin Jail actually verified via their own CCTV system that there was no one else in the building when this eerie figure was caught on camera. If you want to check out more fascinating paranormal captures, I'll put a link to Tony's socials in the description box below. Before we take a look at some terrifying footage of a demon-like creature spotted in the woods, remember to hit that subscribe button then tickle that little bell icon there. That way you'll be notified every time we upload our scary videos. This last clip on our list was uploaded to YouTube by popular paranormal investigator Ricky Velasquez. The footage, which was captured in a small town in Veracruz, Mexico, seems to show some sort of strange creature lurking in the darkness. Velasquez and his partner take us on an after dark tour of a forlorn landscape consisting of brick buildings and overgrown brush. <laughs> The paranormal investigators utilise thermal imaging throughout the tour, attempting to detect anything supernatural. While the video footage is very interesting, it's mostly uneventful. However, that all changes when Velasquez stumbles upon what can only be described as a demon creature, haunting the eerie, darkened landscape. Come on! While the beast is difficult to make out at first, if you slow the footage down, you can see it in more detail. There, squatting alongside what appears to be a fox or coyote, is some sort of bizarre looking creature. It has oversized eyes and thick forearms. Some have even likened its appearance to a large insect. What do you think this paranormal investigator has stumbled upon? Is it really a demon, or perhaps even a creature yet to be classified by science? One thing's for sure, it's clearly spooked the explorer and he'll likely think twice before returning to this creepy location anytime soon. If you want to see some more freaky paranormal footage, then check out the link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a scary playlist right there. Now in the comments section below, let us know which one of these segments you thought was the scariest. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time.